Now, maybe you offer a paid group, a membership site, or consulting services, and you're looking for a simple way to generate and capture reoccurring or subscription payments. Well, PayPal allows you to simply set up and offer reoccurring payments to your customers. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this PayPal tutorial for beginners, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of how to set up reoccurring payments using PayPal. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into PayPal, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and set up subscription payments using PayPal. Okay, so the first thing you need to do in order to set up your reoccurring payments is you need to sign up or sign in to your business account with PayPal. Now, if you're completely new to PayPal, what I'll do is link a full beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out if you want to learn all the features and how to really navigate through your PayPal account. Okay, so to set up reoccurring payments, all we need to do is navigate up to pay and get paid. Then under invoicing, this is where you can actually create and manage reoccurring invoices through PayPal. However, today what we want to do is navigate over to accept payments and then come down to PayPal buttons and this is where we can set up reoccurring or subscription payments. Okay, so essentially by setting up reoccurring payments through PayPal, you no longer need to chase payments. Once you set up this system, your customers can simply sign up through a link or by clicking a button on your website. Also, customers do not need a PayPal account in order to sign up to your subscription plan as they have the option to simply add their credit card details rather than setting up or using their PayPal account. Now, this activity of setting up reoccurring payments will save you time when collecting payments as well as your customers' time. And you can manage, customize, and set up your reoccurring time frame as well as other settings. So what we're gonna do is jump into that now. Simply come down and what we wanna do is select subscribe. However, you have these other options you can select as well. What we wanna do is create a button as well as a link that our customers can sign up through. And for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is set up reoccurring charges of the same amount for your goods and services. And this is ideal if you offer reoccurring services or products, for example, paid groups, it could be monthly products, monthly subscriptions, it could be a membership site, or monthly consulting services. It could also be daily, weekly, or monthly, depending on your reoccurring time frame. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and click here under subscribe. Now first, what we wanna do is navigate up to choose a button type. Now this is for those that want to embed a button on their website to collect reoccurring payments or subscriptions. So what we can do is click here, and then select from the following options. What we're gonna do is click subscriptions and then come down to item name. This is where you want to add your reoccurring payments for this particular subscription. And we're gonna call this membership group. Then navigate over to subscription ID. This is where you can add a ID identifier if you decide you want to set up tracking. So what we tend to do is just add the same item name under subscription ID. So what we're gonna do is add membership group and then come down to currency. Now this is the currency that your customers will be paying in. What we're gonna do is come down and select USD. Then under currency, we have customize button. This is where we can customize the button the way that we like. This is what our customers will see on our website if we decide to embed this button onto our website. However, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, you can also generate a link that you can simply send to your customers to sign up to the subscription plan. You do not need to use the button, you do not need a website. So again, under customize button, we have the option to add a drop down menu with prices and options. 
then we have a few other button options. Now, for example, if we click on add a drop down menu with prices and options, you can see that under menu name, we have these three options that we can customize the way that we want. We can add different pricing for each of those options and we can set up the frequency of the billing cycle. However, what we're gonna do is leave the button as it is and then navigate down here. This is where you can choose to have PayPal to create usernames and passwords for your customers. However, we're gonna keep this unticked. Then if we scroll down the page, we have the billing amount for each cycle. So for example, for my membership site, this could be, let's say $30 that the customer gets charged on every billing cycle. Now below this, we have the billing cycle, which we can customize the way that we want. At the moment, every one month, our customers will be charged. However, we can select here and go every two months, three months, or four months. Now, if we navigate over to months and click here, we can go days, weeks, months, or years. So for example, I could select days, and then I can navigate over here and click every 10 days. So basically every 10 days, our customers will be charged $30. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna keep one selected and then under here, we're gonna select months. So every month, our customers will be charged $30 to be part of our membership group. Then you can choose after how many cycles should the billing stop. However, we want this cycle to continue. So we're gonna leave that as it is. Then come down to Merchant Account ID. Keep Use My Secure Merchant Account ID selected. Then click on Step 2. Now this second step is optional and for those that want to track inventory and track profit and loss. So what we're gonna do is skip this and navigate over to Step 3. Then here we can select if we need our customer's shipping address. For the purpose of this tutorial, because we're creating a membership group subscription, we do not need a shipping address. So we're gonna select no. And then down here, we can choose to take customers to a specific web page URL when they cancel their checkout, as well as take customers to a specific website page or URL when they finish the checkout. So for example, up here, what we could do is click here, we could add a URL, a website page that takes people to a specific page when they cancel. It could be a cancel page or it could just be your home page. So what I'm going to do is add my home page. And then down here, what we can do is take customers to a URL when they finish checkout. So for successful customers that complete the sign up process to our subscription plan for our membership group, they could be taken to a welcome page, for example, so again, depending on the nature of your reoccurring products or services that you offer, simply add the appropriate URL when customers cancel their checkout and when they complete the checkout. Then after that, what we can do is come down and click create button. Then we can come down and we have two options. We can select the website code here by simply coming down and clicking select code, copying this code and embedding this button onto our website or we can navigate over to email and click here and then come down and simply click select code. And then we can embed this link on our website. We can create our own button on our website or what we can do is use this link in different social media campaigns, organic marketing, paid marketing activities, email marketing to ultimately drive conversions in the form of signups to your reoccurring payments, your subscription plan. So for example, if I right click and then copy this link and then paste that into a new tab in my browser and that link will take your customers here where they can go ahead and enter in their email or mobile number if they already have a PayPal account and then navigate through that process by clicking next or they can come down and pay with card or come down and cancel and return to Cindio Media. Remember, this is the website page we added if someone cancels this transaction. So if your customers do not have PayPal, all they would do is click pay with a card. And then all your customer would do is enter in their email address here and then come down and click continue to payment. And this is where your customers can simply add their payment information and then sign up to your subscription plan, your reoccurring payments. They can also select up here. You can see that we have the $30 monthly subscription. If they click here, there's more information. Subscription details, 
30 US dollars for each month and this renews until they cancel. And that is how you can simply set up subscription plans in your business to start capturing reoccurring payments from your customers. And that is all there is to it for setting up reoccurring payments using PayPal. Now, if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Oh,